The next problem I'm going to use the jump strategy for is 81 minus 39. When I look at this problem, I know that I'm ha I have 81 and I'm removing or subtracting 39. And if I only have 1 and 81, I can't take 9 away. So this is a great problem to use a number line strategy and using the jump strategy. When I use the jump strategy, I'm going to start with the larger number, 81, and I'm going to put it on the left side because I'm removing or going backwards on my number line. I'm going to look at how many tens I have. I have three tens and how many ones I have. I have nine ones. I'm going to start by jumping back three tens. And so I'm going to do this underneath the number line. I'm going to jump back one ten and ask myself, 81 minus 10 is how much? That would be 71. I'm going to jump back 10 again. 71 minus 10 is 61. And I'm going to jump back 10 more. 61 minus 10 is 51. Now I've taken three tens away and I need to take away nine ones. Well, I only have one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break nine up into two smaller parts. I'm going to break it up into the one because that'll be easy to take away. And then the next part, eight, because one plus eight would be nine. So I'm going to go back one to make it 50. And then I'm going to take away eight. And one way to think about this is what number plus eight is 50? Or 50 minus eight. And 50 minus eight is 42. And the other way to look at that is if I was going forward, 42 plus 8 would be 50. So I know my answer is going to be 42. So 81 minus 39 is 42 using the jump strategy. 10, 20, 39.